Fiona, I need you to call me tonight. After work. I'm sorry to barge in on you like this, but I need to talk to you. What's wrong? I'm actually off today for the national holiday. If you need to talk, now's fine. I didn't realize that. I'm sorry to interrupt your day off. I just wanted to ask you a quick question. My dad is asking me to do a favor for him? That's unusual. What's up? Anything I can do to help? Actually, I was wondering if it's possible. Is there any way we could postpone the wedding for next month? I've been asked to keep it quiet by your mom, but she's actually not feeling well these days. Mom! What's wrong with her? Is she sick? Is she going to be hospitalized or something? We don't even know the name of her illness yet for now. I mean, your mother won't let me take her to the hospital. I haven't been able to get any good tests done. What? I found this out just yesterday. Your mom already had some things that turned up in her work medical check. She hid it from me and wouldn't even go back for another test. And she won't even go back for a recheck. Why won't she go to the hospital? I'm worried about her. She has to go. I didn't know mom hated hospitals so much. When I asked her about it, she said, if I have to get retested and I have to be hospitalized, I might not be able to go to the wedding. What? Her health is more important than that. You should definitely get her checked out right now. So you think so too? I already told her that. Even though I said that she should get checked first, she wouldn't listen and said she wouldn't go until after your wedding. But she's been looking really sick lately, and I want her to go to the hospital as soon as possible. So you want me to postpone the wedding? I know, it's a crazy request. But I was thinking that if we postpone the wedding, I was just thinking about it. I'm not sure if she's going to be okay to attend the wedding. That's how hard it's going to be. I know how you feel. If mom looked like she was in pain or feeling sick, I would want to take her to the hospital as soon as possible. I'm asking you just from myself. I know it's a huge favor to ask. It's your once in a lifetime big day. I'm really sorry to put you through all this. But even if we can't postpone it, can we move the start time to the afternoon? In the afternoon? Why? I've been watching mom. She seems to have the hardest time in the morning. She would have to get up earlier than usual to get dressed for the wedding, right? I thought that might be too much for her right now. Yeah, she was so excited to get her hair and makeup done with me. With the current schedule, she'd have to get up very early. Does she feel better around noon? Yes, she always seems to look better and have more energy around noon. So an afternoon start would be very helpful. Then maybe we can do it. Really? Are you sure I'm not pushing you too hard? It's your ceremony, so if you can't do it, you don't have to. You're not forcing me to do it. We're holding it at a smaller wedding hall, so the ceremony is limited to one couple per day. So, depending on the weather on the day, we can change the start time to the afternoon. I see. So, I don't think there will be any problem if we change to an afternoon start. If it's possible, I'd love it if we could change to an afternoon start. If you want, I'll talk to the wedding hall. You don't have to do that. I want mom to be there for sure, and this is nothing to worry about. And actually, an afternoon start would be a big help to me too. What? I'm planning to have an after party with my friends after the family only ceremony. But due to the location of the after party, it's going to start in the evening. The time between the wedding and the after party is a bit of a gap. I think it would be smoother for me if we start in the afternoon. So can we change it? Can you ask your fiancé Thomas if he's okay with it? If he's okay with it, then by all means, let's start in the afternoon. Okay, I'll talk to Thomas later. I'm sure he'll say yes. Yeah, tell Thomas I said hi. Thomas, I need to talk to you about the wedding. What is it? What's wrong? It's a month away. I'm sure all the preparations are perfect, right? You're not going to say you don't want to get married because you got cold feet, are you? It's not like that. I don't have a problem with the preparations for the wedding. It's just a little change for my family's convenience. I'd like to change the wedding to an afternoon start. What do you mean by your family situation? Your parents? What's going on? I got a call from my father. He said my mom isn't feeling too well. 
She's having a hard time, especially in the mornings. She starts to feel better around noon. So I'd like to start in the afternoon if possible. That's the reason? She's not good in the morning, so you want to start later? I don't know how your parents could ask you to do that. How selfish can you be when you're invited to a wedding? No, Thomas. I don't think that's the reason. I think she's really sick. It's like she feels like she should go to the hospital too. But mom really wants to be at the wedding. She says she won't do any tests or stay in the hospital until after she's attended our ceremony. So I'm trying to help mom a bit so she can attend. If possible, I'd like to start in the afternoon. If possible? There's no way we can change it just because of one person's selfishness. I'm sure the staff at the wedding hall will have a hard time with that. It's okay. I checked with the wedding hall already. I've already confirmed with them that we can start in the afternoon. What? There's no problem with the ceremony staff. The staff at the wedding hall said it would be fine and that we should reconsider our preferred start time. Our wedding is basically for our relatives only. I think it's okay if we change the time. Is that okay? I'll call them and let them know the time change. I'd rather not, but it would also help with all the spare time before the after party. Don't be silly. What are you talking about? What? Because of your parents' convenience? Why would my wedding be changed because of your parents' reasons? That's ridiculous. Thomas? Why are you so angry? I have every right to be angry. I won't have our ceremony ruined for some insane parents' convenience. Don't even bother contacting the wedding hall, okay? The wedding will be held at the same time as planned. We can't change it just for one person's convenience. What do you mean, ruined? We're just changing the time. The venue says it won't be a problem. No one will be inconvenienced. And it'll help my mother to attend. But it's still no good? Of course not. Because it's embarrassing for a man to be pushed around on his wife's parents' whims. If people know about it, my reputation will be tarnished. Uh, what? Sorry, Fiona's parents, but the wedding is on as scheduled. If you know you're going to be sick, you can do something about it, like taking medicine beforehand. Don't try to rearrange the wedding around your schedule. They can't just ask us to delay the start of the ceremony without making any effort to make themselves available for the wedding. Hey, that's a little cold, don't you think? Huh? If you're saying that changing the start time would cause too much trouble, then I could understand why you would object to the change. But it's not like that, and... I definitely want my mom to be at the wedding. She's been by my side since I was a little girl. And I definitely want her to see me in my dress. So can you try and accommodate her a little bit? But if I do that, it would be a question of my honor. I'll never change the start time. What's with this man pride thing? You don't want to delay the start time for this reason? Thomas, are you serious? Are you really not going to help my mom attend our wedding? Of course I'm serious. Hey, I want to ask you something, Fiona. Are you sure you're ready to be my wife? What's with you all of a sudden? I'm going to be your wife. We're going to have our wedding in a month. If you're sure you're ready to be my wife, I don't think you would have asked me to do this in the first place. So maybe you're not ready for this. No wonder you don't have cold feet, because you don't even understand about marriage. Huh? You're going to be my wife from now on, right? Being my wife means you're going to marry into my family. You know this, don't you? What are you talking about? I know that much. When you become my wife, I'm the one you have to take care of the most, right? Then my parents come next, then yourself, and then your parents last. What are you talking about? What does that even mean? What does it mean? It's just common sense. I mean, your parents are at the bottom of the priority list. So if they're at the bottom of the list, why should I have to delay the start of the wedding? That's just not normal. Wait a minute, Thomas. Are you seriously saying this now? Of course. That's why I'm not changing the start time of our wedding. You tell your dad that too. Your parents don't seem to understand what it means for their daughter to get married. So tell them not to get so pushy again. Sorry, Thomas. I'm sorry, but we need to cancel the wedding today. I can't attend. My mother collapsed. 
What? I'm really sorry. I already explained it to the staff. But just in case, please stay at the wedding hall and take care of it. Okay? I'll see you later. Hey, wait. You've got to be kidding me. You snuck out of the ceremony. I'm so glad I left before I changed into my dress. I just hopped in a cab. You're the bride. You've got to be kidding me. What the hell are you doing on your own? Come back here right now. What? What's the big deal just because your parent fell ill? Our wedding is more important than your parents. Don't embarrass me for such a stupid reason. I mean, your parents are really something for choosing this day to collapse. Wait a minute, are you serious about that? It's my mom. I just got a call that she collapsed from a heart attack. Heart attack? Then that's exactly why you should come back to the ceremony. If her heart stopped, she wouldn't have survived anyway. What's the point of you rushing to the hospital? You're wasting your cab fare. Give up. What are you even saying? Listen, it's your wedding today. It doesn't matter to me if my wife's parents fall ill or not. She's not going to make it anyway, so forget it and come back to the ceremony. I can't believe you, you asshole. Huh? How dare you say such a thing when my mother's life is at risk? She's not going to be saved anyway? Abandon her? If anyone should be abandoned, it's you, you absolute piece of shit. The wedding is definitely cancelled right now. Who in their right mind would marry you? Hey, hey, hey! What are you so mad at me for, and getting cold feet now? What are you talking about, you're not marrying me? I know you're freaking out because your mom fell down, but don't say something you don't mean. If you say things like that, I'm really going to break off the engagement. Yep, let's call it off. I mean that with all my heart. I'm never going to marry you. What? The wedding is cancelled. All wedding plans are off the table. Who would want to be your wife? I don't want this insane man in my life. Hey, don't joke with me. I don't like the fact that you ran out of the wedding hall without asking. And on top of that, you're calling off the wedding? Fiona, stop acting like you're in charge. You should know your place. How dare you talk to your man like that when you're the one who wanted to marry me? You're the one who asked me to marry you. Don't be so full of yourself. Who's going to be your wife? I called the wedding hall again. I've sent an email to all the attendees as well. Today's wedding has been cancelled. What? What are you doing declaring it cancelled on your own to everyone? I saved you the trouble, didn't I? You're welcome. You've got to be kidding me. You ruined my wedding. If that's the case, I'll have you pay for the cancellation fee. Okay? All of it is yours. And because I was emotionally scarred by the last minute cancellation, I'm also going to charge you a fee for my mental health. Huh? I can understand the cancellation fee. What do you mean, mental health fee? It's emotional abuse. What if people spread rumors about how the wedding was cancelled the day of the ceremony? I'm heartbroken that the ceremony I was looking forward to has been cancelled. And I'm also sad that I was pushed around by your selfishness. Besides, you and your insane mother insulted me a lot. My pride as a man is hurt. You deserve to pay. How dare you say such a thing? You say that as if you're not at fault. That's how it is. If you don't show up for the ceremony, I'll charge you the cancellation fee and sue you for emotional damage. If you don't want that to happen, then come back to the ceremony right now. The most important thing right now is our wedding, not your mother. If you come back right now and get down on your knees, I'll forgive you. I'd rather die than get down on my knees to you. If you want a wedding so badly, why don't you have your mistress be the substitute bride? I saw your secret girlfriend running to the wedding. I saw her from a cab just now. What? You said you'd charge cancellation fee and emotional damages? Fine. I'll pay you whatever you want. But in exchange, I'll charge you the same. No, I'll charge you double that. You better brace yourself. Uh, wait a minute. What do you mean, cheating on you? What do you mean you saw her from the cab? When I ran out of the ceremony hall, I heard a lot of noise outside of the building. Where's the groom who's getting married today? I'm the real bride. A woman in a dress was yelling. What? No, that can't be. I wanted to grab her and ask her all kinds of questions, but... But the most important thing right now isn't the wedding or your cheating. 
The most important thing is to get to my mother. I got in a cab right away, but I could see her from the window. I could see you trying to get past the staff and into the ceremony hall. Oh my god, no. How did she know about my wedding? The way you said that, I know you're cheating on me, aren't you? When my mother is better, I have questions for you. You'd better be ready by then. I heard. Your mother regained consciousness. That's great. Thank you. Don't worry about what happened over here. I asked the staff to postpone the wedding. I got them to postpone it. I really begged them to do it. You should be thanking me, okay? Now you can have your wedding with me when things calm down. What the hell? It's too late to pretend you didn't just say all those nasty things. I'm still really shocked that you said it was useless because I wouldn't be able to get there in time. I'm really sorry about that. When I heard that your mom had fallen ill, I got upset too and I said some really weird stuff. The truth is, I was worried. You said my parents were your lowest priority. Well, whatever. My parents heard that your girlfriend showed up to the ceremony after all. It was very dramatic. She didn't know the wedding was cancelled. She opened the door to an empty ceremony hall. Oh, no. And I also got a call from the wedding hall. Cancellation due to a family member's sudden change is subject to postponement, but any other problems cannot be postponed. They said we'll have to pay the cancellation fee. No way! I went out of my way to ask them to postpone. I'm not going to negotiate with them anymore. Well, anyway, I want you to pay the money for the cancellation and the fees. My mother is awake now. I'm going to start preparing my adultery claim. Hey, Fiona, don't say that. Let's start over. Your mother's fine now, right? I bet she came to her senses just to see our wedding. Well, this is a miracle. Let's show our love to your parents. Don't try and twist this. My mother regained consciousness thanks to my father. Ever since she collapsed, he's been calling her name. She responded and finally came too. That's what the doctor said. He said it must have been because of my father's voice. You disrespected my parents. You don't get to talk about them like you know what you're talking about. That's a wonderful love between husband and wife. I'm sure you and I can be a couple like that. Of course we can't. When my father saw my mother regain consciousness, he broke down in tears of joy. Seeing my parents like that, I thought to myself, this is a couple who love each other even after decades of being together. You and I will never become a couple who love each other, even if we're together for decades. That's not true. We could be that couple. No, we will be that couple. Let's become one now. Let's love and support each other. I'm not getting back together with you. Thank God we didn't go through the wedding. Let's just break it off here. Wait, please. Don't say that. Please, just marry me. If I married you, you'd just cheat on me. I can't believe she came running to the wedding in a dress. You must have had a serious relationship if she was so passionate about it. It was just a fling. She's just someone I hung out with a couple of times. I can't believe she would come to my wedding when I didn't tell her the date and place of the wedding. She's just crazy. She's a stalker. Please. You're all I have. Please don't dump me. My mother, who had fallen ill, recovered well and her condition stabilized. She will be hospitalized for a while, and it seems that the days of examination will continue, but... I am relieved to see my mother talking with my father in good spirits on the hospital bed. On the other hand, it turned out Thomas had been in a relationship with that woman for two years. He has paid me alimony and all the expenses for the cancellation of the wedding. All of his savings disappeared with the fees for my compensation and the cancellation fee of the wedding. And the reason that woman came running to interrupt our ceremony was, she was pregnant and wanted Thomas to marry her and be the father. So he did. I heard that the child was born with completely different features than Thomas, though. Thank you for watching! 
please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video!